Thanks for joining! In this video, we're going to set up Claris FileMaker Pro's pre-installed drag-and-drop Kanban board interface. Welcome to Productive Computing. I'm Paul Fisher. A Kanban board is a visualization system of management for any work that needs to go through a process. And that's basically everything. So, Kanban is a Japanese word that translates to English as signboard. And that's what this interface is mimicking. It's a board on a wall with columns that represent processes and cards that represent tasks or products or services. And they move from left to right as each process is completed. This is a very intuitive way for people to understand how a system works. To the individual user, Typically looks like three columns, the to do, the doing, and the done. And this gives the advantage of being able to focus on a task to completion so that I can put it into the done column, which is somebody else's to do list. To management, the advantage is to see where each thing is along in the process. And now with this FileMaker add on, we can provide this interface to our users very quickly and very efficiently. Also, if you're here for more than just an overview of what this can do, we have a video called Fundamentals for Using FileMaker JavaScript Add-ons. I recommend you go check that out and then come back. That covers a lot of things that have to do with all the add-ons. This is the FileMaker 19 Kanban add-on. This is what it looks like with the sample data. It allows you to see how it functions. You can take the item from one lane or column and move it to the next and you'll see that the status changes to in progress. I can change it in here and hit close and it will jump back to where it came from. So this is just a visual way to basically change the value of this field. Additionally, I can change the sort order by simply dragging it up and down. Now that sort order isn't displayed on here because it doesn't matter to the end user but it is a number field and it's simply sorting in numerical order. So this is the to do, in progress, and done. Also notice I can change the style, which this could be configured in your FileMaker to any particular reason or purpose that would automate the coloring of these things, such as something that's getting close to its due date or something that's overdue, um, and you could even modify your sort orders to force them to the top so that they get attention. Um, I'm going to quickly show you how you would install this. I have created a brand new file here and when I go into layout mode and I can open and show my add-on pane, click my add-on tab and I click the plus sign. I go into the add-on section, I select Kanban, shows me a uh, preview of what it'll look like and I select choose. Now at this point it is installed in my solution and when I click on this and drag it onto my layout what I'm actually doing is creating an instance. I can do that multiple times and it'll use the exact same code to make different Kanban boards. Then I move into browse mode. If I click on the configurator I can modify what this does. Right now this is using the Kanban sample data table and it is using the lane setup which is my columns that's getting that from a value list. Let's go and let's look at that quickly. Value lists, and I look at my statuses. This is all the more I need to do to establish these lanes. I create a value list with my lanes. And let's just do that real quick. Let's create a um, managed value list and we'll create a new one and we'll call it test lanes. And we'll call it lane one lane two and lane three. Hit okay. Go into my configurator. I go to my lane setup and I choose test lanes and I click save. And the reason that there is nothing in here is because we didn't make any records that have a status that is assigned lane one, lane two, or lane three. But that's how quick and easy it is to make lanes. What if I wanted to make a lot of processes? So I've created one that has processes one through five, and I've put a bunch of random items in here with just numerically named items 
to show that this is a some kind of production environment, or maybe we are writing something in a newsroom, or maybe this is just me producing this video. These are all the little tasks that I need to do. My coworkers can see what my progress. But what if I am only concerned with process four? This is my job and I'm not really concerned what happens at process one. That is simple as creating a new layout with a new instance of the Kanban board and then assigning it a new value list. And we can go in, we can look at that value list real quick. It is these three values. And now when I'm done with my process, I simply move it over. I'm good. I've got all my things done and I'll grab this one and I'll start working on it. But what if I don't care about Jack's work? What if I only want to see my work? Well, that's where the query field comes in. If we go into the configurator, we have to go down into filter and we say the field that we're going to filter is the assigned to field and the field where we're going to get the query from. So this is where we store what we're going to search for. We need that in here. Now this field could be populated by a calculation. This could be automated by a script. So I only want to see things in my process under my name, which would be Omar. I don't care about this guy, this Jack. So up here I can type Omar. And then when I tab out, now I only see things assigned to me. And you could do that with anything. Now this field doesn't need to be exposed. It could be hidden. So that's a few modifications that can make this very, very useful. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope you got as much out of that as I did preparing it for you. And don't forget that likes are a great way to let us know we're producing the content that you find interesting and useful. Also, we have a playlist of the other add-ons that you can check out. It might be a link at the end of this video. And don't forget about the video I mentioned earlier on, the fundamentals of JavaScript add-ons. That'll cover a lot of the little nuances, things that are very helpful to know as you move forward in implementing these in your solutions.